Every winter, we spend thousands trying to keep our homes warm. But what if your house could heat itself using nothing but sunlight and smart design? Today, I'll show you the passive design secrets that can make your home naturally warm, even in the coldest months. Passive design means using natural elements like sunlight, wind, and materials to maintain indoor comfort. In winter, the primary design goals focus on maximizing solar heat gain to take full advantage of the low-angle winter sun, minimizing heat loss through the building envelope to maintain indoor comfort, and effectively storing the collected heat for longer periods using thermal mass so it can be released gradually during colder hours. Orientation is the foundation of winter passive design. The winter sun stays low and comes from the south. So you should place your living room, dining, and bedrooms on the south side. East-facing rooms get warm morning sunlight, useful for bedrooms. Avoid placing large windows on the north side because it is the coldest. When designing windows for passive heating in winter, always prioritize the south facade. Use large windows on the south side to capture maximum solar heat during the day. Choose double glazed or UPVC windows to prevent heat from escaping and aim for a south window to wall ratio of around 20 to 30% for the best balance of sunlight and insulation. If your budget allows, upgrade to Lowy glass, which reflects indoor heat back inside and boosts energy efficiency. On the other hand, keep north facing windows small to minimize heat loss from the coldest side of the building. Thermal mass refers to the ability of certain materials to absorb heat during the day and slowly release it at night, helping maintain a stable indoor temperature. Materials such as brick, stone masonry, rammed earth, and concrete floors are especially effective because they can store a large amount of heat and release it gradually, reducing temperature fluctuations and improving thermal comfort in a building. During the day, sunlight enters the room, warms the floors and walls, and they store heat. At night, they release that heat gradually, keeping the room warm. A trombe wall is a south-facing, thick, dark-colored thermal mass wall built behind a sheet of glass with a small air gap in between. It captures the sun's heat during the day, stores it inside the wall, and releases it slowly into the room several hours later, usually right when the temperature outside drops. A sun space is a glazed, south-facing room attached to a building that captures solar heat during the day and naturally warms the interior spaces. It works like a solar greenhouse for your house. Its main purpose is to trap sunlight, store heat, and distribute it indoors to reduce heating needs in winter. Insulation is one of the most effective winter techniques. Key areas to insulate are roof, external walls, floors, windows, and doors. Common insulation materials are rock wool, glass wool, and pew foam. Even small gaps around windows can leak heat. Seal them properly. Cold winter winds can significantly increase heat loss from a building by accelerating heat transfer through walls, roofs, and openings. This can be effectively reduced through strategic landscaping, such as planting evergreen trees, constructing fences, or creating earth berms on the windward side of the site. These elements act as wind barriers, slowing down cold air movement before it reaches the building. These are the top passive design techniques for winter. Uh, if you want separate videos on orientation, window design, or winter sun path, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.